Okay, hello everyone. How are you today? So this is the 7th of June and this is on Monday. So today I decided to capture a video and I decided to talk about the importance of step-by-step -step progress. Uh, because um, I was thinking about talking about the markets today, but it looks like the market has been retracing, ranging on higher time frames. So instead of talking about the markets, this is Monday, so it's less volatility today. So um, I will be talking about the importance of step by step and the importance of uh, educating yourself step by step. So I will look back my own on uh, past. Uh, past history and also uh, I will also uh, talk about what I will be doing in the near future and what I'm doing what I am doing as of now to prepare for the move to Dubai so because uh, ever since I became a full-time trader um, this is always in my mind is that everything should have be should be step-by-step -step manner Without these step-by-step -step processes, you cannot really go further more. Because uh, this is kind of common uh, in this uh, Forex world or any like investment or when it comes to uh, strategies. I've seen videos and also website that talks about um, the profitable trader, profitable strategy that can just come one day. Or uh, if you purchase this indicator or strategy, then uh, you become profitable and I've seen these uh, videos in uh, websites and I used to purchase these indicators and also EA's robots and all these but um, I when I was focusing on this area I was basically um, looking for the profitable trading tra training strategies and that was my focus but afterwards uh, I found that it's not really for me and uh, I wasn't really able to learn from these paid indicators and yes that was why I decided to stay away from these indicators and I decided to build build up my own strategy so for the first two years uh, or after I become full-time trader I was still in a loss over yearly basis it's been still loss and for after the third year onwards, I became profitable, but without this step step by step mindset, uh, I, I I still remember that I cannot be successful like this as of now. So, I created the slide today. It's a rough slide, but I created a slide, and based on this slide, I will talk about it a bit more details. So let me squeeze my face. And quickly as a disclaimer, uh, this video today is only for the educational purposes. So when you take trades, please do with your risk management. And also if you can follow the guidelines rules in this live stream or this video session, that would be great. So, um, so here's a slide. The title says uh, dreams come true step by step. And this is what I really keep in mind ever since I became a full-time trader or before that even before I became a full-time trader when I was still in the US uh, this is the mindset of mine <clears throat> and without this mindset you cannot really be successful in the long run so let me briefly talk about this topic so what I believe is I have three beliefs in this area and one is dreams sorry dream stays dream without any efforts no matter how big the dream is. So we can have big dream, we can have a, a big goal in the future, but without any efforts, I mean step-by-step -step efforts, you cannot achieve. That's the, that's the fact for sure. And also never neglect the power of constant effort. So sometimes people want to achieve the goal or dream without taking any efforts and uh, I don't think that's an attitude as a profession so you have to have effort you have to uh, you have to pay the effort in order to be successful on in any areas this is not only for forex trades or any tradings but this is for for anything that you do but uh, when it comes to forex or tradings 
you know, we are here, of course, to become profitable, and we tend to forget this part. Because, um, like I mentioned, on the videos or the websites that talk about, you know, you can just get this indicator, get this strategy, and uh, you can just get like 100 pips per day or uh, 300 pips per week. And I used to watch these videos in uh, websites, but it wasn't really true. I mean, uh, sometimes I get successful, but overall, over a monthly or yearly basis, um, it's like break even or maybe small loss or small wins, I'm not sure. But uh, the point is that I don't learn myself based on this mindset. So that's why I discarded all these indicators and came back to the pure white candlestick in the background, black background. And then I started to apply Ichimoku and became successful on the tradings. So the power of constant effort is the key to success also. And not only the effort, but also you have to keep improving your trades. So improvement is also very important. We say uh, Kaizen in Japanese. Kaizen means improvement, but it also means like fine-tune improvement and also uh, like, like a refine, like a refine the strategies. So um, please don't stay in the same like a, in the same strategy. You have to keep refining, keep finding better answer better uh, trading strategies as it goes on because that's the way that you that make you profitable in the long run so before that you have to learn how to become non-losing trader so uh, you have to know about the risk management but after that um, you start to apply the strategies and you start to fine-tune and improve your own trades onwards so power of constant effort is a key to success and also uh, never give up and never ease up on your effort and a dream will come true so never give up is also the key to success i i actually met one of these uh, successful business owners in uh, los angeles and he told me that uh, so i asked him uh, so how can i become successful and he answered to me uh, you will get success until you pay effort to success and that was his answer so I was like okay in, uh, in that age but uh, I think that's true never give up is the key because uh, unless you give up you can uh, still move forward and achieve the success and for those who can achieve success they do so because uh, they give up on something so the the word grit is very important you have to have grit in order to go through these are uh, all the processes until you get success so these are the three mindset of mine which is my base on anything that i do and forex trading is the same case so so what i achieved so far or still achieving I kind of listed uh, on the on this slide, so I'm relocating to Dubai, and this is one of the achievements. Um, actually, I used to uh, apply the visa in US in the US after I came back to Japan uh, because visa got expired in the in the US, and that's why I need had to go back to Japan. And after spending a couple of years in Japan, I started to apply the visas in the US. And the back then, that was an investor visa. Uh, so uh, with uh, 300,000 USD uh, investment amount, uh, I was applying the visa in, uh, in the Los Angeles. And I have applied three times but failed because of the economic reasons and also other reasons um, because of business purpose reasons I wasn't able to go through the visa process and I was a bit disappointed because I wanted to come back to the US back then but afterwards um, I visited Dubai and Dubai find a nice place too also and that's why my focus became Dubai to relocate afterwards so the very first time I 
thought about Dubai was back in 2015. I visited there in a, in a fall season. That was beautiful. I liked the weather and food and everything. So that's when I started to focus to relocate to Dubai. So it took me like six years to prepare to move for Dubai. I say I'm going to Dubai, I'm moving to Dubai, but um, I don't say this in a couple of days. I thought about this relocation for the last six years and now it's achieving. So I will be flying to Dubai on the 29th of June, which is about like uh, 22 days from today. So that's my new challenge, but that's something that I achieve. So until I go to Dubai, I moved to Dubai, I visited Dubai three times and I did researches. I knew how, I know how Dubai is and how culture is, how foods are and how living styles are. So after these researches, based on my own experience to really visit Dubai three times, I feel more confident. And last time I visit Dubai, uh, a couple of months ago, uh, I met beautiful friends, beautiful people in Dubai. So uh, I feel very comfortable and confident for this relocation. So uh, that's also the example of the step-by-step. -step. So without these step-by-step -step, step, step -step processes, I cannot really be confident on relocation to Dubai. So that's one of the examples of my mindset. And also, once I moved to Dubai, I say I will start to trade trades on stock markets and indices. And this is my new area. So I could take trades on stock markets, indices uh, while I'm in Japan. But I don't do so because my focus still is the forex markets. And uh, I'm, I am a professional forex trader. And also I trade gold and silver and sometimes crude oil, I take trades, but I don't really take trades on stock markets, indices, and also other markets. I don't really uh, take trades on the on these cryptocurrencies either. But this is, so this is my new area. So, um, but before I take trades on these stock markets, indices, I wanted to watch closely on how the market's moving over time and uh, how, what kind of news or economic conditions will affect these markets and also indices. So without this experience in my mindset, I cannot, I don't, I feel I'm not ready to take trades yet. So I, I'm a type of person who wants to have a solid and a nice background basement. And then uh, on top of that, I want to build a tall buildings. Because without this uh, solid foundation, you cannot build a big castle. Is the proverb in Japanese. We say like, uh, you know, we cannot build the big building, big castle on the sand. Because uh, it can collapse soon. So the foundation should be very solid and flat and very concrete. And then on top of that, you can build the new buildings. And high buildings like that. So in that sense, I still feel that uh, and also uh, while so I decided while I'm in Japan, I decided to study about the stock markets indices and which broker to use, um, which market to look at, which sectors are actually good or bad depending on the changing economy every year, every year. So it's been my researches. And so I will. So when I'm feeling confident, then I will go into these areas. And that will be when I really move to Dubai. Yeah, after uh, also time zone wise, time zone wise, uh, Dubai is very good to take trades in stock markets indices on U Euro or uh, US. Because in Japan, the information is so limited, all the almost all the informations here are in Japanese and most of the information is about Japanese stock markets and Nikkei index. So that's why, that's one of the reasons why I decided to relocate to Dubai. So this is also my step-by-step -step process. I don't really jump into these stock markets uh, next week or so. And then investment on properties too. 
So this is also uh, my step-by-step -step process before I actually moved to Dubai because I used to have properties in Japan. I have a video on my second channel and uh, I used to have uh, own three properties in Tokyo by the Bay Area and I already sold them uh, last year, 2020, so that um, I can really move, relocate to Dubai. And also the stock market and also the property, uh, the, uh, the, the price, basic price has been dropping, uh, was dropping in Tokyo, especially these buildings or apartments that I was used to own, uh, the, the price has been dropping and that's why I decided to sell these before the Olympic starts. So uh, it's based on my experience on this property management, I feel more confident to do so in Dubai. So that's another background of mine. And also in terms of the uh, what I do for services, like this YouTube, uh, thanks to everyone who supports me and participate on my live streams or these video sessions, my YouTube channel became over 30k. So I really thank you so much for your uh, su support and also uh, participations. But um, yeah, without this constant uploads and constant uh, teachings, I wouldn't be able to. Uh, become like a 30k over 30k subscribers and this is I think also the, the proof of myself of being consistent so uh, sometimes due to my personal reasons I cannot uh, I don't have a time to take a video on that day and upload so in that case I announce everybody on the Twitter and I cancel doing live stream videos but most of the cases including this one I record a video and upload on my YouTube channel almost every day, constantly, so that um, it can be continuous learning for you. And also, this is also my learnings too. Uh, I talk about these markets by Ichimoku and other strategies, and I answer to these comments. And based on these questions and comments, of course, you can you can learn on by what I say but also myself learn a lot too by output by outputting these informations so this is actually both of us for learning process and I believe that these learning processes never end and that's why I keep on doing these live streams of video sessions every day on my YouTube channel uh, here so but uh, so consistency is the key to success so even you are even if you feel down or even if you feel, feel uh, you, you don't feel like I recommend you to check charts at least once a day because if you don't see a chart once a day then uh, you might be away from the charts for a week or for a month or so then you have to leave you will leave this uh, profession so uh and this is also consistency so no matter how many losses you have no matter how big the loss was i recommend you to look at the market at least once a day uh, you can just check charts maybe one minute or five minutes is okay but my recommendation is you have to see charts every day at least once a day so that uh, you get used to these markets is my experience also I used to not to look at the charts for a week or so and I lose a sense of tradings so consistency in that sense is also very important every day and also I run Ichimoku community and also global trading school and I do this consistently so uh, uh, so that uh, this is also the proof uh, of the step-by-step -step process yeah speaking of this a uh, global trading school um, it was uh, yeah about one year and a half ago that was a uh, first time my uh, mentoring group so back then it was called Forex group mentoring 
it wasn't called like global training school because I, f I found that it's more of the mentoring and I want to mentor uh, and help traders based on my experience so my my original intention was not really to teach or not really to share the strategy itself but it was more to share my mentality my mindset and risk management and that's why i named forex group mentoring back then but now i also teach my own strategies as to where to buy where to sell and lot sizings and how to see charts from from daily to lower time frames and take trades uh, I, I uh, share these informations so that's why I named this as a school afterwards so uh, so it's changing now and but for sure it's got more content in it and uh, also it's it's been fun it's been fun uh, really really fun and also Ichimoku community too uh, yeah it's been around for for the last uh, one year and some month so far and uh, it's growing still and I have uh, three books in the community and we do the live sessions twice a week and uh, there is a nice and a very uh, good community on this Ichimoku community so in this one too without your supports I wouldn't be able to do this uh, these uh, communities but uh, it's such a privilege for me to be able to run such a community with a very nice people around me so and so this is the list of my daily tax tasks and uh, so every day these are my tasks that I do I, I take trades of course and I email website management I manage my website my own website by myself so uh, I don't really hire anybody to manage website or uh, YouTube also these are uh, so everything basically has uh, been doing myself and uh, I manage all these myself basically and uh, once again I have background of uh, website management before I used to create the website and affiliate websites I used to create and I generate incomes from there so I know how to build the websites but I never had an experience to run community so this was something new and of course uh, YouTube was also something new too so uh, these were my challenges my new challenge on this area but I used to do Twitter I used to of course email trading has been my profession for the last uh, eight, eight, eight years so far and the trading view was new too I never used trading view before before I started this YouTube so uh, because basically I was using MT5 or MT4 to take trades and for analysis in the markets but now I use trading view as a new one and YouTube and also community are very new for me but this management has been all done myself and I don't really outsource these tasks to anybody else because I want to manage myself and I still enjoy this and that's why uh, I do this so uh, yeah but uh, these are the daily tasks and on top of this I do shopping and I do uh, you know other things in my life but without you know so let's say if I have no experience on these fields and if somebody asks me to do this from tomorrow then of course I can't do it of course it's impossible but because I have these backgrounds and experience step by step on these areas and that's why I can do this by myself these days so and here are a couple of tasks for relocation to Dubai uh, this is also for my reminder too but uh, I got the visa and ID when I visited Dubai a couple months ago so uh, that's done but uh, before I get the visa and ID um, I did some researches based on the websites uh, UAE websites and also uh, embassies I called embassies many times and also I was uh, I was talking to the agency who supports visa and ID 
and I did I get these. So it took me almost like a year for the research and I finally got the visa and ID a couple months ago. So I was very happy with that. I got the videos also on the second channel when I visited by last time so you can uh, check these videos. But uh, that's done. I have the company in Dubai in the free zone and this company sponsors me for this visa and ID. And also new bank accounts. I have built, I have created a new account, new bank account uh, with the HSBC. And this is actually uh, thanks, thanks to uh, one of the GTS members uh, is actually working at the HSBC. And uh, he introduced me the the person church uh, in uh, in Dubai. So uh, so couple couple of days ago, I got the email from the uh, HSBC, and uh, let me show it to you uh, for the proof. Uh, let me hide. I will just hide these uh, important informations, personal informations. But uh, here is the email that I got. So he says, uh, "Dear Mr. K." So Mr. Keita Keita is my real name. You can call me K, but uh, Keita is my real Japanese name. K means happiness and Ta means thick. So Keita basically means uh, lots of happiness. So uh, yeah, dear Keita, thank you for your recent application for a HSBC Jade Currency account, current account and HSBC Black credit card. So we are pleased to inform you that your HSBC Jade current account is approved and your HCC Black Credit Card is on the progress of being reviewed. So I'm uh, actually a step away uh, to, uh, to get these, uh, uh, the card still, but I got the approve, approval from this bank uh, for this, uh, car, uh, the bank account and also the checkbooks. Because without these bank account and checkbooks, I cannot purchase or I cannot rent any apartment. So this was my necessary step. So I visited the HSBC office last time I visited Dubai and uh, finally I got this uh, notification a couple of uh, weeks ago. Oh, sorry, a couple of days ago. So I was very happy with this. So now I am actually, I have to submit uh, the translated uh, Japanese, uh, tra translated uh, transaction history in fr from a Japanese uh, banks and I have to uh, send it to the person charged in HSBC Dubai and then uh, everything should be done and after that I will open uh, the bank account or I will open the branch bank branch in Japan with HSBC and I will start to transact these uh, this money from uh, from Japan to Dubai so that's my step here and I'm thinking to open other accounts from other with other banks in Dubai because banks provide uh, different services, different opportunities for investments and insurance. So um, I'm actually opening my mind to open other bank accounts. But this is the very, very uh, remarkable spe spe uh, step for me. Because without these bank accounts, I won't, I won't be able to live in Dubai physically. So, so the bank accounts is done now. So that's already done. And also lawyers and attorneys. I'm actually hiring the lawyers and attorneys in Japan. And I'm actually doing so also in Dubai. Uh, because uh, we never know what's going to happen. Uh, in Dubai, so uh, in case anything happens in Dubai, I need to I need a backup. So uh, this is like the stop loss for me. So in case any issues in terms of like a renewal of visa, or in in terms of a contract or anything happens in Dubai, I will make sure to have somebody who helps me in this uh, in this uh, fields of the. Uh, uh, laws and also attorneys um, in dealing with these money situations or financial situations so that uh, I can I can feel secure this way. So I have lawyers and attorneys in Japan and I do the same in Dubai so that it protects me in case anything happens. So this is also like the preparation uh, for relocation to Dubai. 
And then new apartment will be uh, fixed soon after uh, I get the checkbooks and also the bank account, online banking. I can transfer money and fix a room. And then new businesses. New businesses means uh, I don't think I will run the big business, but I will start to invest. Uh, like I mentioned before, I will start to invest the stock market indices and also a couple of uh, new startup, startup businesses in Dubai. So I might see these new opportunities in Dubai and that's also one of the reasons why I decided to relocate to Dubai this time. So this is my new field and I'm actually still doing my researches until I find some new opportunities here. So I won't but I won't stop trading forex. I will be keep trading stock, uh, keep trading forex markets because this is my main source of income. In the meantime, I start to take trade stock markets indexes, indices, and also properties, and then new businesses because this is my new step of my life. But once again, without these step by step, uh, step by step processes. I still believe that I wouldn't been able to do all these myself. So yeah, this is the list of the tasks in the past. For example, school in the US. I went to school in the US uh, in Los Angeles uh, and studied psychology there. And uh, that was also me when I was when I graduated from high school. I worked a uh, full time. I used to have like a three or four jobs at the same time and I saved money and went to the US first time after my high school high school life. So uh, yeah, but before that I visited the US uh, twice with my father and also with my brother. I visited US twice and decided which, which one, which uh, university is good which environment is good on these different cities and I decided to go to Los Angeles. And also trading from scratch. I have now uh, experience in trainings for the last 8 years but back then of course I was a newbie, total newbie. I never knew about the trainings and nobody around me took trades. No one in the family took any trades. So by instead, my father or uh, my also siblings are kind of against these flex trades because uh, the tradings they think is gambling and they're against on what I'm doing. And still, they're against on what I do in terms of flex trades, but they appreciate, they are happy on what I do for the community and also the, for the move to Dubai. But they still kind of against or they're still kind of doubtful uh, if I I can keep trading and keep living myself from the tradings on the forex markets. But it's okay. Uh, it's okay. We, we, talk, we talk about it and uh, yeah, it's, it's totally fine with me. There's no arguments in this field anymore. But um, what I want to say is that the uh, I tr started trade from scratch. So I, of course, when I was a newbie, I never know about indicators, I never know about how to see charts, first of all. How to see chart, which platform to use, which broker to pick. Uh, I never know about the candlestick patterns, price actions, I never know about it. What is support line, resistance lines, I never know about it. So back then, I remember that I used to take like a, yeah, like a full day to study about the markets and I watched the videos and websites and uh, I met some of, I went attended seminars and get the basics and then I added more and more information until become a full-time trader. But uh, yeah, without uh, this experience on tradings, I would never been able to relocate to Dubai. And also, I have a background of property management. Like I mentioned before, I used to own properties, three properties in Tokyo, which I already sold in the early 2020. But uh, so now I know how the property management is, 
so that the uh, I can negotiate on these uh, rentings and also apartments and houses in Dubai too. And also website management. I manage my website my, by myself. I type all these words and uh, yeah, everything here. So I type all these words and layouts myself. So uh, and that's why I th there are so many informations here. It took me almost like a almost like half a year to build all these, but now I'm adding more and more informations, and uh, I'm actually running. I will actually uh, create another formal community in this on on this uh, website. I don't think I will. Uh, I will use the YouTube, I mean, I will use the, uh, how do you say, like uh, the community service as of now for this Ichimoku. And I'm doing researches and one of the GTS members has, has been helping me to, to share information uh, for this online school or like uh, uh, community management platforms. And I do my own searches too and I decided to pick one and move forward. So, yeah, so uh, website management is actually uh, the task in the past and also the task as of now. So I think uh, there are more to it in my life, uh, but uh, I think these are my major, uh, major things and tasks that I do in my life overall. So once again, Today's topic is about success or dreams will only come true when you go step by step. So I, I believe that dreams, dreams stay dreams with, without any efforts, no matter how big the dream is, and never neglect the power of consistent effort, and then never give up and never ease up on your effort and dream will come true. So please, uh, when you hear me talking about the forex market or when you hear me uh, talking about Ichimoku or anything in the markets, um, please uh, experience it. Please practice and experience and please take the constant effort is the key. Um, because this is also my based on my own experience is that the uh, you cannot really master one thing in one day it's possible the mastery also comes over time you cannot drive a car in one day it's impossible and forex tradings too and any tradings you cannot be able to become profitable trader in one day it's impossible but if you are constant and if you pay constant effort over time on my YouTube videos and lives and constantly follow my guys and uh, knowledges in the Ichimoku community here, then uh, you will have a sense of what the market is like and what is Ichimoku is all about and how I view markets and take trades and exits too. <clears throat> so yeah, please take it forward. And also, I recommend you to track your own records manually so that you have to look back your own records, your own trace, and you also learn from your own past trace. Especially, uh, you have to learn from your losing trace and you have to learn how not to lose with the same pattern. We have the pattern of losing and it, it depends on the, on the traders. I have my losing patterns and that's why I pay attention to these losing patterns in the past and I try to improve on these losing patterns. So losses do happen and this is the part of the process but more important thing is to, to pay attention not to lose anymore in the same pattern so that you can avoid these losing patterns in the future when it happens. And then you can be profitable more. So, yeah, so that was my talk for today's video session. So, I hope you learned something new on this video session. If you liked it, please press a good button. And please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these 
video sessions or live streams every day on my YouTube channel. So, uh, so once again, thank you for uh, the, the subscriptions and also the participations. And thankfully, now my community is above 30k. So, I am preparing to do the special live stream. So, I will notify everybody once I fix the date and time to do it. Okay, and one last announcement is that the, uh, so like I mentioned before, there is a GTS Global Training School, which happens every three months. And next group is starting in July. And there is only one seat available. And I remember uh, some of uh, you are have been emailing me, but uh, I never get response. So if you're still interested in about joining the upcoming GTS, please let me know then I will give you more details about it. So, today the market has been kind of retracing, ranging, there is no direction. So that's why I decided to talk about the, the topic, like more of the psychology or mindset topic. Okay, so once again, thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day today. And until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. Alright, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.